Welcome to my channel guys, Brown Boss JA Tours. Yes people, so we're on the outside of the Meadows of Irwin today and I'll take you to um, different sections of the Montego Bay Bypass just to give you an update for this year 2024. This will be my second update and as you can see the map on the screen right now show you the different areas that we will look over while you know I take you on this journey today. So we'll start off here from the um, outside of the Meadows of Irwin, close to Irwin Dale and Fairfield. Um, this is the current situation now at this area. So I'll show you soon how it looked or how it actually looked back in about August 2023 when I just started making videos of this area. So, you know, just step into the past a bit here so I can show you um, the magnitude of the progress that has been undertaken here at the bypass. So here we go now, guys. This was back in August 2023. And as you can see, still on the outside of the Meadows of Irwin or close to the Meadows of Irwin. So this was just um, a roadway all right and yes you can see there there was the um equipment just drilling um through the hill excavating the land yes people so the contractors are very busy at work um they have reached a very far away right now uh with this project here in montego bay this bypass here um, as you can see the video I've showed before it's the same area and look at it now uh, there is a huge a deep very deep um, roadway that they've um, installed right here so as to connect to the other side all right right now you're looking at a bridge that's being um, built it's going to be an overhead bridge so I've heard you know so to connect um the fear fuel section there yes people they have come a very far away i was really surprised i've i'm um gone to this section for a long time and i'm back now and i'm surprised to see the level of progress that has um come to this area so look over that section now it's Irwindale so they're building up their structures so that they can connect um, Irwindale to uh, Fairfield so yes people they have reached a far way right now with this um, highway project it's really something for Montego Bay you know as this roadway will really help with the uh, traffic congestion all right and just to remind you i have other videos on my um, page that you can review based on um based on the progress that uh you know happened here before um from the start and to current so that you, you can just check out my channel people of all the videos i posted on this project uh, prior all right it's going to be a 15 kilometers um of roadway um it's a national development project and it's a collaboration between the ministry of economic growth and job creation and china harbor engineering company which is czech yes guys so a completion date is in the books for the ending of 2025 so I'm really excited about this project, you know, um, for it to come to fruition. Um, as you can see right now, they have come a very far away. All right. But once you watch the videos before, you'll see what I'm referring to. Yeah, this project is really um, kicking up a storm. So just be on the lookout, guys. And I will definitely keep you guys posted on the progress of this area yeah so uh, i actually um got here very early 
So um, the work has stopped for a moment and it will pick up back in the late morning. Yes, guys, so as you can see, the, the same place that, we, that I showed before in the video. Yeah, there is a familiar um, structure. Yes, guys, so it's really amazing of what a man can do. All right, so we're going to go back on the road and I'll take it to um, another section, which will be closer to the Fairfield Road. All right, we're, we're going to pass the, um, the high school. The high school is further down. We're going to go right and um, pass Cashew Grove housing scheme and we'll just stop right here and go right so here you have it this is on the other side so you can still see the bridge being constructed from this end as well so there would be the material for the bridge or um other platforms that they will be um installed in here for the highway so major project guys as you can see they have um uh, rail lines and they have the equipment they're parked so yeah it was very early in the morning i think it was about like five or five thirty yeah there are some workmen just walking about all right so in the daytime you have some like very large trucks that will drive past this area and you know they have installed their signs so as to warn warn pedestrians and also uh motorists when they're passing by to be cautious you know slow down while the um workmen are busy at work so look at that people yeah pretty much a part of the roadway at um this end so you can imagine how it would actually look um when it's completed it'll be totally uh transformed yes guys so i'll give you a closer look shortly you know just um browsing the area now so that you can have a feel of the actual surrounding all right so there here is the um other side and you still have the um residents at the bottom of the hill uh, they're still adamant that they're not moving from that area but we will see as time progresses what the outcome will be as you know um roadworks you know those projects are very very important um and once the government is involved anything is possible so we'll see because they'll be like very very close to the um the highway all right all right so just giving you a 360 view right now of this side and we will walk further down i'll take you um closer to the bridge All right, so I'm just walking right now over um, to the area. Yes, guys, so this area can take you um, through Irwindale, go to um, Green Pond, uh, close to um, Norwood, and finally, you'll end up at the Iron Shore at the uh, North Coast Highway. So yes, guys, just a means of, you know, 
preventing or you know reducing traffic congestion in the downtown area so you don't really have to go downtown if you're coming from areas like sav uh lucy you know you just want to go around and not go through montego bay um congested area yes you'll take this route so it will be very convenient um for future travelers so there you go people the work still being done all right and it's they have come a far way here in march 2024 all right so stay tuned people we're gonna go back on the road now so i'll take you to the other side or further down the road so i'm gonna drive through um fairfield now and we'll go closer to the um granville main road all right so just driving through um fairfield now i'll speed up the video so that you'll not be bored with the whole driving all right so stay tuned guys we will get there shortly just navigating the bad roads here the roads were fixed recently by some some residents but you know continuous rainfall it has gone back to its initial state all right so hopefully we will get um a permanent fix all right because this area will be very popular in the future very 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 popular all right so we're gonna stop like right at this section here so i can show you um this part right now of the highway so this is like um at the fairfield section and over there you can see um westgate hills all right so this part will get uh connected to where we were actually coming from just now all right so there is the uh, progress now they would um have to um dig through the hill but you know they have come a far way as you can see so they're working like simultaneously uh different areas at the same time all right so that the work can be completed in a timely manner okay see us people so just look at the area and i'll take you further down the road so we're gonna get back on the road now and we'll take you um closer to the uh, main road which will take you to like granville and other sections here in st james all right so here we have bad roads again all right but we'll soon get to our destination guys as i've shown um videos of this area before so you can check them out of how this area um, looked before so just gonna walk in now it's a bit restricted so uh, i'm not able to go that far but i'm just gonna show you like on the outside how it looks so this is the area close to the um barnet river so look at it they've actually raised um the road and at this end they'll be um redirecting the river the river is further towards the left all right but um i just showed like the outside area now as i was stopped by one of the uh, workmen in the truck all right guys but just showing you a sneak peek here preview of how the um work has progressed over time so there you have it you know the roads are coming along nicely and this area will connect to the area that we were coming from just now so there it goes way down yes so it, it has been connected now as they have dug through the hill all right so we'll get back on the road now and uh, you know we'll go 
on the main road. So if you go left, you'll go to like Tucker. Uh, we're gonna go right now, go over the bridge, and you can check out this area that will connect to um, West Village area and Bogue housing scheme. So yes, guys, so that's the progress right now. And over there, you'll see that the Barnet River is being um, redirected. All right, didn't get to go to that section today, but we'll show you guys next time. All right, but this is the area they're working on across the road that will go to um, West Village housing scheme. And that will be like adjacent to the Bogue housing scheme as well. So there you have it, people. It's coming along really nicely. Uh, do you have the roads being mapped out? So it's definitely something to look towards. All right, guys, I have a surprise for you. We'll be going to the Iron Shore area. This is where the bypass will end. All right, so the work has started from this area now. And I'll take you guys there shortly. So uh, it actually came here when it was a bit overcast and it was raining a little. All right, so I'm just gonna drive quickly now through the um, Iron Shore housing area now and just go on top of the hill so that you can have a hill view of the um, bypass. All right, so we're gonna stop here and just look at the um, bypass from the hillside. All right, so there you have it, people. Really majestic in its uh, view. Yes, yeah, so they have come a far away, guys. So working on multiple areas at the same time so that the work can be completed faster. So this was actually on, I think it was a Saturday or a Sunday. Yeah, so we we just drove here going to the um, actual entrance or the end point of the um, bypass here. So you'll see the Iron Shore um, area now. So I was shocked because it was like completely deserted. I could just walk in and the equipment there was parked. You know, I walked for a moment until you know it was getting too dark so i had to return yes guys so there you have it this side is close to like the um irving gardens and it will take you to like carnival courts green pond all those areas uh which will have lands being further developed lands which will be like exposed so you know they will be developed with housing other infrastructure in regards to like bridge you know um a lot of works are in the pipeline right now for this project or as a result of this project yes guys so a really exciting um look right now for montego bay jamaica you know so we'll definitely um improve the western section of the island here you know so as to make it even more attractive because uh, montego bay is well renowned for its wonderful sandy beaches yes guys so there you have the equipment you know just parked and you know i'll just walk for a moment so so as to show you you know the level of progress um at this side of the um bypass so yeah out here at um iron shore close to the um narcos highway all right so this will connect a lot of the um adjoining communities, Cornwall Courts, Norwood, Green Pond. Yes, guys, so 
just doing a 360 now of the area and we'll walk um up even further yeah so stay with me while i you know just take you on this little journey at the iron shore section yes this is the very first time i've shown this part it's the first time i'm coming here though at this part of the um bypass so it's also new for me so i was really you know excited so as to how this has um progress so far so yeah when they had released a date of 2025 i was saying that you know things can happen delays might you know occur but um how things are looking you know um it seemed as if they would actually come through all right so we will see Yes, guys, they've really reached a far away because I've been walking for some time and I could see way up. Um, there was a part where I had to stop because, you know, it was getting a bit late and this area was lonely. So, you know, uh, just came out here to give you guys a sneak peek of the area. all right yeah so just walking and listening to nature as the vehicles are passing by at the top of the road and we have uh pretty much just bush on either on both sides and we could hear birds in the trees around So yes guys, a lot of roadway here has been um, mapped out already, as you can see, and it should be further expanded, you know, um, so as to create the lanes. All right guys, but yeah, there, there you have it. There is um, the part where I had to stop. All right, but as you can see, they have gone over the hill. Yes, definitely awesome. All right, so, um, yeah, definitely, you know, hoping that I can definitely get a a really good drone so i can navigate the area and show you guys a better look or a, a look from an aerial view so that you know we can have more um exposed or more details shown yeah i had a drone before but it wasn't really that good and it was shaking too much so the the drones with the um with the stabilizer on it those are more expensive so all right you know my subscribers here anything is possible um if you would be so kind so as to help sponsor your boy here brown boss to get a drone i would much appreciate it all right but guys thank you so much for watching brown boss ja tours showing you the bypass here in Montego Bay. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace.